back in beautiful downtown Hazleton going to try another dish at Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant here on Wyoming Street. Today it's Holy Cannoli French Toast. Lauren, here, here with Lauren Sackle. Let me introduce you first. One of the owners here at Frankie, if, Frankie's, if you're not familiar, I'm just very excited. Do you ever see the videos on YouTube when the parents tell their kids they're going to Disney and they run around the house and freak out? <laughs> when we came to talk about what segments we were doing and Lauren said cannoli French toast, I really wanted to run around your restaurant, but I wanted to be a professional 33 year old, but what an amazing creation. And before I dive in, we want to stress, you guys have breakfast every, every day. day and pretty much all day, right? Mm -hmm. We have a whole breakfast menu. You can do something as simple as bacon and eggs, you can do holy cannoli French toast. We do a breakfast wrap. We do a pepper and egg stromboli. You name it, we can do it for you. Where did this come from? I mean, was this just like, hey, we should combine cannoli and French toast? I mean, was there an origin story to this? Can you make one up right now while I go to take a bite? Funny story with this, <laughs> um, with our Ocean City location that we okay. had for the summer, um, a lot of our girls on there would say, how come you don't put cannolis in your pancakes or in your French toast? Mm. And I was like, well, we never really grew up with it. It never really crossed my mind. So we started serving it there and it went over really well. And then when we redid our menu here and we beefed up the breakfast a little bit and we start opening up and concentrating on breakfast along with our lunch crowd, um, I kind of incorporated it right into here and it's been a hit. I'm, I'm taking a lot of the cannoli insides here so I don't waste time on television. So my mom wanted to open a bakery called um, Leave the Gun, Take the Cannoli. This is So it's been ingrained in me yeah, since yeah, I was a little yeah. mom. Always liked baking and cannoli. So before Penn State game, I mentioned how much I enjoy Frankie's cold pizza at Penn State games at tailgates. And I told my mom, I said, why don't you pick up some cannoli from Frankie's? I think she spent $60 in cannoli. You can get a lot here for that. It was something ridiculous. <laughs> and she shot, I'll tell you what, they went. So the filling is good. People do love it. I'm going to try this right now. Chocolate chips on top. I personally don't think you need the syrup. I think it's sweet enough. I didn't even think of the syrup. I didn't even mm -hmm. see it there, to tell you the truth. That's amazing. I mean, I love chocolate chip pancakes. I need to learn how to talk and chew when we do these segments. Um, and this is this is Alice World. What is the response to these? I mean, are they popular? Or? Yes. We do the holy cannoli also. You're able to get it in pancakes as well. I was also expecting to talk about the heartiness of the food here a lot. I don't like my stromboli to dip. When I dug into this, I thought, oh, I'm just going to use the fork to kind of dip through. I couldn't do it. I needed, I needed a, knife. a serrated knife, too, not just a butter knife. So this is some good stuff here. You can also get cannoli. I mean, you like the filling, and you go up there. You, you can, can get cannoli it itself. Yep, the dessert as well. I didn't think you were going to talk me, talking me into meatball. No, not that you had to talk me into it. Meatballs for breakfast, but this the is... The jambot. This might top the jambot. Yeah, I'm not even a, a sweets person. Yep, so. sweet, savory, a little salty, not too much. But it's good. Absolutely perfect. And every day here at Frankie's, try their breakfast. Just run your way through the menu, but I, I do suggest starting right here.